They were sent to guard and protect, but ended up responsible for one of the deadliest episodes in Haiti's history. As miserable as our lives are, we did not have cholera. But enter the UN, boom, cholera. Cholera killed 10,000 people and sickened hundreds of thousands across Haiti. When the disease was first registered in 2010, experts traced it back to Nepalese peacekeepers. This is where the problem started. In this base, hundreds of Nepalese peacekeepers were stationed. And here, the very first cases of cholera were recorded. Local residents showed us the spot where they say Nepalese troops illegally dumped excrement just a few meters from River Artibonit that runs across the country. Among those giving us the tour of the abandoned military base was Pascal Ulysse. The 17-year-old lost his cousin and a best friend to cholera. I asked him if he was angry. Yes because many Haitians were victims of the disease. Including your cousin? Including my cousin. The UN never admitted guilt and instead apologized for not doing enough to contain the spread of the disease. The United Nations deeply regrets the loss of life and suffering caused by the cholera outbreak in Haiti. Without the formal recognition of guilt, no concrete plan was put in place to compensate the victims. Mario Joseph has filed 5,000 cholera complaints with the United Nations and never got an answer. He says the UN grants human rights and due process only to some nations. Imagine sometime some Nepalese, some Nepalese soldiers in the missions of United Nations go to the Germany, to Canada, to French, to United States and spread the cholera. What will be the response of the Secretary-General of the United... Much more than just an apology. Than a, much more than an apology. Seven years on, Haiti continues to suffer from cholera. 7,000 people have been diagnosed with the disease so far this year. Without a concrete plan to develop access to sanitation and clean water, an investment to finance it, the UN peacekeepers will be long remembered here for all the wrong reasons. Annelise Borges, TRT World, Mirambalet, Haiti.